Well, safety is an extremely important issue, and our city will never entirely thrive until everybody, every one of the citizens from every one of the backgrounds feel safe. As I mentioned earlier, I am a proponent of diversity. And it's not just diversity in terms of people, it's, it's also diversity in terms of use. Let's look at the downtown right now. Think about where the Wells Fargo building and the IDS Center is. Very wealthy people going in and out all day long, but just from nine to five. Consider how that area is in the beforehand and in the aftermath. Because it's just one use, because it's just commercial, and because you've got everybody going into work at 9 a.m. and everybody leaving at 5.30 p.m., it's dangerous. We need to be looking at mixed use. That is the future of every city and should be the future of Minneapolis. It is exceedingly important. Second off, we need to be working with the police officers directly. And third, and this is oftentimes not talked about, we need gun control reform. And oftentimes we'll say, well, that's not necessarily an issue for the city. Well, I'll, I'll say it is. It is. There's no reason that we should have people be able to walk around and unload 30 rounds before they have to reload. That's ridiculous. And in fact, I've been the chair of Protect Minnesota, uh, the Protect Minnesota Political Action Committee for the last few years, and we've been working adamantly, and I've been going over to the legislature to be an advocate for people in our cities to make sure that exactly what Councilmember Hofstad was so aptly pointing out doesn't happen. I've been working on the grassroots level every single day. In fact, the city of Minneapolis gave me the first annual Martin Luther King Jr. Award for that very work, which I'm exceedingly proud of. That's the kind of work I want to continue at City Hall.